The architectural egg and dart motif that often decorated the moldings of classical buildings continues to be used to ornament friezes, capitals, and moldings today. The two parts of the motif, the egg and the dart, are thought to represent some of the fundamental juxtapositions in life. For example, the egg may represent life and the dart, death. Also, the circular shape of the egg always doubles back on itself and begins again, suggesting a sort of passiveness and stasis, whereas the dart advances linearly until its path is obstructed, suggesting activeness and progression. The egg and dart motif can, therefore, symbolize not only the life of a single individual, but also the rise and fall of a civilization, or even the entire history of mankind, for all three comprise life and death, passiveness and activeness, progression and regression. The name Castel de Uovo, or Egg Castle, comes from the legend that the Roman poet Virgil hid a magical egg in the castle. Following from the traditional belief that the egg is the symbol of life and that the broken egg represents death, it was long thought that as long as the egg was unharmed, the castle and the entire city of Naples were safe. The site on which Egg Castle stands, on the Gulf of Naples, has been home to a number of fortification structures since Greek colonists from Cumae first founded the city in the 6th century BC. Over the years, the castle has served a number of purposes. During its height, the castle was used as a fortress and military center. However, when the court moved to the newly built Castle Nuovo, or New Castle, in the 13th century, Egg Castle became headquarters of the Royal Chamber and State Treasury, and later served as a prison. Commissioned by textile industrialist Joseph Batio to remodel a classical building prized for its desirable location on Passiege de Gracia, Barcelona, Antoni Gaudí designed and built Casa Batio under the influence of the Art Nouveau movement that was flourishing at the time. The egg-shaped windows, which may represent birth and life, are just one example of the elements that contribute to Casa Fatio's flowing, dynamic, organic structure typical of Art Nouveau architecture, of which Gaudí was perhaps the most compelling proponent in Spain. Casa Fatio's local name, Casa de del Dosos, or House of Bones, reflects the preponderance of curved elements that resemble bones and account for the structure's total surface area of over 5,000 square meters. Although it stands on the block of discord, this architectural masterpiece is itself anything but disharmonious with this enchanting interplay of shape, color, and light. The building's most mosaic facade of glass and ceramic discs glints and glimmers, undulating under the shifting sun. Legends abound, including one that claims that the turret and cross on the roof represent the lance of St. George being plunged into the dragon's back. Frank Heger's $22.1 million, 121-foot-high sludge digesters produce and digest some 160 million gallons of sewage sludge per day, serving about 1.3 million people in Baltimore and Baltimore County. Although the concept was developed in Germany in the 1950s, these are the first large-scale egg-shaped digesters in the United States. Each tank holds 3 million gallons of sludge, and unlike the cylindrical underground tanks upon which the plant previously depended, that capacity is not reduced by grit buildup thanks to the new tank's egg-shaped design. Another benefit of these comparatively efficient and low-maintenance golden egg digesters is that they recycle some of the methane produced as bacteria break down the sewage, using it as fuel to heat other buildings at the plant. The rest of the methane produced is sold to Baltimore Gas and Electric Company and converted into natural gas. Since these golden eggs were built in Baltimore, the advantages of the egg-shaped design have gained recognition, and more digesters of this kind have been built across the country from New Hampshire to California. 
built onto the Pysenka Museum in the Ukraine in 2000, this curious red and orange egg is a larger version of the some 12,000 Pysenka masterpieces the museum pridefully houses. Long used for various social and religious occasions, Pysenka Easter eggs are precious in the Ukraine as they have symbolized life and creation since antiquity and are believed to play a role as both guardians against evil and portents of good. The derivation of the word Pysenka, Paisati, meaning to write, is fitting given that designs are written on the eggs using a wax resist method in which heated, dyed beeswax is applied to the surface of raw eggs. The eight-pointed star and the red and orange coloring seen on the large egg-like structure of the Pysenka Museum symbolize the most important traditional Pysenka motif, the sun. Like many ancient peoples, Ukrainians worship the sun, the cherished heavenly body that shines down on us every day and is itself the ultimate symbol of life. Originally designed by Oleg Zabrowski in conjunction with other architects, including the group Iced Architects, Egg House was not realized until architect and Moscow city planning official Sergei Chachenko brought the house to fruition in 2002. Each element of this home was modeled on the shape of an egg. Even the windows were originally meant to be convex, an idea that was later abandoned because of its high cost. The design has echoes of ancient Russian architecture, Kremlin's towers, Fabergé's eggs, and the Soviet constructivist aesthetic, which was popular in Russia in the 1920s and early 30s, in the wake of the Russian Revolution of 1917. Rumor has it that no one has ever lived in this red, egg-shaped $10 million home. While the house, called the Fabergé egg house by some, is creative and endearing on one level, perhaps the building's implications that having children is the main purpose of a family is off-putting. Maybe couples today are hesitant to live in a house that outwardly displays what may be happening privately within the walls of the home. A complex three-dimensional cityscape of 66,000 blown out eggs, accumulating egg projects suggests that building a city is as delicate a task as piling eggs. The dramatic modernization, urbanization, industrialization, and economic growth that China has undergone in the past several decades has prompted debates over what China is and what it means to be Chinese. As old structures, traditions, and beliefs have been replaced with new, often Western ones, China's political, social, and environmental situations have been strained. The eggs of accumulating eggs projects are arranged in the design of the Chinese paper money, the 51 bill, implying that the recent economic growth and monetary affluence in China may be the root of the country's current fragility, an idea both supported and complicated by the slogan, time is money, which is written on the wall above the installation. Although this work may be a direct commentary on China, it can be interpreted more broadly and seen as a reflection on any country, for globalization has tied us all together economically, socially, technologically, and environmentally. And one country's dilemmas and decisions often have global effects. Our entire world is fragile and money-driven, just as China and Peijun's egg city are. The 13-story high, 33,000 square meter Cybertexture Egg office building was inspired by the self-sustaining nature of our planet Earth. Like the world's natural ecosystem, the building embodies self-sustenance, both metaphorically with its spherical egg-shaped design and in practice with its advanced eco-friendly technology. For example, the orientation of the Cybertexture Egg building, sky gardens, and glass facade minimize heat gain and an underground water cooling system provides naturally chilled water for the building's air conditioning. Furthermore, the glass framework allows the elements outside the building, such as urban life and natural sunlight, to suffuse its internal bureaucratic workings. As exterior and interior merge, those workings within the building's walls are continually reminded that they are part not only of the self-sustainable ecosystem of the building, but also that of the city and the natural environment. 
In this way, Cybertexture Egg suggests that each of us is part of the numerous self-sustainable ecosystems that exist on Earth. Arne Jakobsen was a renowned architect and designer and one of the first and most instrumental proponents of Danish modernism, a movement that thrived in the mid-1900s and had its foundations in the Bauhaus movement. Perhaps Jakobsen's most well-known project was his design of the Royal Hotel in Copenhagen and its furnishings, including egg chair. This chair's pure, simple form exemplifies Jakobin's minimalist style. The oxide upholstery complements the chair's modern structure, introducing a naturalness and warmth that speaks to the chair's name. Jakobsen's interest in functionalism, the belief that form follows function, can be seen in Egg's chair's emphasis on organic elements. Jakobsen was clearly aware of the human form and did not disregard the ultimate purpose of the chair, that it be a comfortable place to sit. The egg-shaped contours of egg pod chair envelop the sitter who sits within, curled up into a fetal position. The red, not yolk-colored, interior seems to refer to female fertility and may even be meant to resemble the blood vessel-lined interior of the womb. The design of egg pod chair is one of the results of Finnish interior designer Aero Arneo's early experimentation with plastics, vivid colors, and simple geometric forms. In the 1960s, Arneo used modern materials to create new, yet organic forms with striking colors, creating designs that are now looked upon as symbols of the popular culture and spirit of the time. The design has been reproduced with a variety of additional features, including speakers and hanging devices. Sleeping in this egg-shaped bed is like returning to the egg, pre-birth and worry-free. LOAM is an acronym for Light Over Matter Mind Evolution, a phrase that is, on a conceptual level, quite fitting, as one of the features of the bed is an internal light whose strength and color can be adjusted using a color wheel until the ideal sleeping conditions are produced. The results of two years studying sleeping habits, problems, and therapies, the egg bed uses color, light, and sound therapies to lull its sleeper into slumber. In addition to the manually controlled internal light settings, hidden LEDs can sim simulate sunset and sunrise, and a stereo system with an iPod dock can play soothing music. Also, a muscle relaxing massage system is integrated into the mattress. Loam provides an enclosed, personalized environment that allows its sleeper to have the maximum comfort, comfort possible for a baby's nap or longer womb-like sleep that leaves the individual rejuvenated. Years of research, millions of dollars in development, and one prestigious Red Dot Award later, this stunning design is being manufactured and is for sale for 42,000 euros or $53,000. Commissioned by X Factor agencies to design an office extension, architectural firm DMVA struggled to comply with strict Belgian building regulations. Eventually, they skirted the issues by designing the mobile artistic egg-shaped blog, which seems almost like an adult version of a child's playhouse. Unlike a playhouse, however, Blob VB3 comes equipped with a bathroom, kitchen, lighting, sleeping area, and limited storage space, and can be used as a guest house, garden house, or whatever its owner wants. In addition, the pointed end of the egg can open and be converted into a covered porch, making those within the egg-like structure one with nature. The PUR insulation between the timber frame and a layer of stretchy material and polyester gives Blob VB3, an eco-friendly component. A yolky glow emanates from LED lights within the egg-shaped blob, complementing the egg white exterior and making Blob VB3 look like a hard-boiled egg. This egg shower is a futuristic home design that would, if ever brought to reality, return its user to the peaceful realm of one's prenatal state. 
cocooned in the shower's sliding glass doors and submerged in the hot water pouring from the rain shower head in the center of the ceiling, the bather would get to relax and fully enjoy the bathtub trace, jacuzzi, and mood lighting system. This spherical, gently swirling structure creatively encases those within, transporting them to another protected, zen-like realm.